beautiful people. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to um, record this. Um, so let me start with my intro. Hola, beautiful people. It's Nana here. If you don't know, it's the Nana Nation. Welcome to my channel, guys. For those who don't know, I go by the name of Nono. Uh, my channel is more on lifestyle, uh, beauty, and a bit of um, vlogs. So, yeah. I just wanted to do this, um, this video right now. This is going to be more of a chit chat session with you guys um i normally used to do this um when i was driving um actually i used to do it when i was going to work so it would be my car drive sessions so i think i want to bring it back a bit but i'm just testing it out right now um the reason why i'm filming right now i'm in the car and it's parked in the house i'm off today so why did i decide to like have a chit chat with you guys in the car so i'm gonna start right now um there's a particular topic that i wanted to talk about um i think there was this lady by the name of um q um i'll try and link her youtube channel um she spoke about healing the inner child so that that topic um specifically really resonated with me um there were some couple of things that she was talking about on her uh sit down for that video of healing um the inner child and it touched me it really really touched me um she talked about how growing up as a child, um, there's some specific um, events that happen to you growing up and they tend to come out when you're older, when you're older, yeah, right? So, yeah, it, your, your whatever issues or trauma that you had when you were a child they tend to pop up when you're in the later stage when you're an adult. So, yeah, um, when she raised that uh, point of saying healing um, your inner child, it really, really hit me. It struck a chord in me. And um, it made me who I am right now. Um, as she was talking about that topic, um, I was like reflecting, saying to myself, it's actually some few things that are happening to me in my adult um, era. It, it's due to my inner child that has not healed. Um, and yeah, which was really sad when I was watching that whole um, um, chat session would you say it's not an interview she was talking to herself so I would say maybe a diary session that she had a session that she had um, so yeah with me um, but yeah <laughs> just to think of Uti how I grew up, um, they basically made me to when I clan clap for any wuya manji. So some of the experiences that I've had when I was a child, um, they were a bit bad to say. I wouldn't say any child should um, experience that sort of um, trauma when they're young um yeah um whew. so um yeah there's been a couple of things that happened to me when i was a, a kid um that i don't wish upon any child uh, to go through um 
growing up as if I think it was when I was in my teens early teens I had to like grow up quick yeah some people know that story of um, I remember there was a video that I made where I was talking about um, rejection and stuff um, why I am perceived as umuntu or uptight, not not friendly, um, not easy to to talk to because of how I grew up. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Nkulele and Lini. Ooh, YouTube Benji is not gonna want us to speak Zulu, Maya, my home language. So, okay, let me put it properly. Um, when I was growing up, um, I grew up in a household. Still, <laughs> um, I grew in a household where um, my parents were strict, especially my dad. Um, I was never able to like experience being a child um i would have to like grow up quick um i never got to like experience how um certain stages that you go through as a, a human being um like being a child being a teenager and then into your 20s and then 30s that i recently got into my 30s um but yeah um i never got to experience those stages stages nicely as i should be as a human being should be um so growing up in a household where your parents are strict more my dad um you sort of um build a shield around yourself because you don't want to disappoint your parents you don't want to be um on a wrong side of being um being shouted at or like being disciplined i know discipline is is good for a child but yeah with me um um, I had to like take care of my siblings. I never got to like experience how how a teenager should behave. So I always had that mindset of hey, your things should be in order in order for your parents to be happy. So it was more like um putting a wall up for people. Hey, I cannot do this certain thing. If I do it, I'm gonna get a backlash and i don't dispute i don't um um i don't hate my parents i don't um mm -hmm. feel upset Uti. they brought me up this way and um i don't regret it because yeah i sort of do regret some parts when they were raising me um but there's some life lessons where i'm like i'm grateful because you see some um not that i'm making an example with some few people but you get to see your peers how they grew up and how they are now you are grateful Uti. you know what they were actually teaching me Uti, um that's not the right way of doing things this is the right way so i do thank them for that but down the line i'm struggling um i'm struggling to um connect with other people that's made me now into an introvert i cannot like interact with people it gives me anxiety don't want to lie i get the most anxiety social anxiety ever i struggle to like communicate with people um um which is 
sort of a downfall for me oh sorry the lighting is changing i'm in the car like i said so yeah um it has made me into this person that i am and i am trying to like um let go of all those um i don't know how to put it but i'm trying to like engage with people and stop putting walls up and try to interact with people because truly some people are good some yes some people are not good but some are really genuine so i'm trying to pull, put down that wall yeah and it's will i say it's the wall is going down not really um i mean like i'm 30 now and i still find comfort in being home <laughs> staying at home um so my thing would be like um i will just wake up in the morning get ready get to work um even also just getting to work and um trying to socialize with different people it gives me anxiety i always have to think in my head okay don't put up a bitch face sorry uh don't put up a bitch face around people try and be friendly but and then in the back of my mind i'm like hey you need to open up you cannot be putting these walls up if you want to interact with different people so um yeah i always have that um um what's it called i always have that uh confrontational confrontation in my head going back and forth of hey you want to have friends hey you want to be seen like you actually are a nice person which i am it's just that i'm afraid to talk and i have social anxiety so yeah i always have that tit for tat in my head um which is whew, sometimes it can get overwhelming um yeah and hey it's not me it's not easy being in a clutch if you can get in my head it's not easy um so yeah that lady in jay when she was speaking about uh healing your inner child i was like you know what i haven't healed i still find it that's why I even um sorry i'm going off track now that's why also there was um a vlog that i did where i went hiking alone i enjoy doing things on my own and someday i wish to like go out and be with someone and not do isn't to me one i'm adventurous at times but i would like to explore that with someone so um i need to like put my walls up that inner child in me that says hey grow up needs to needs to um come out and say it's okay they're not gonna hurt you just um let them in so yeah i need to put that wall down a bit um yeah some people might perceive me as umuntu or perfect i'm not perfect not everybody's perfect we all have our flaws which we are trying to um trying to control <clears throat> sorry we all have our flaws and we're trying to con to control them and not be perceived as miss perfect or mr perfect so yeah when she really spoke about that yeah my inner child is having to mature quicker than other kids and which is my problem right now with interacting with people and yeah <laughs> i 
remember this one about me. <laughs> oh, Shem. My childhood was not good. It was not the most prettiest ever. I remember this one one time. Um, I was... Ooh, it's dark now. Sorry. Um, growing up, um, yeah. What was I trying to say? Yeah, so... There was this one time where um, my dad was still working. He, um, I'm not going to say the place, but it was a furniture shop. And I know my dad has a certain time where he's going to come back home. And Nina, I'm like, you know what? I want to, sorry, I want to just hang out for a day before I prepare things in the house um, and I had a friend come over to he will I'm not gonna say he <laughs> so he came over and he he and he hanged out with us um, he was mostly I don't think he was actually coming just for my baby brother to hang out with my baby brother because I remember my baby brother was a huge fan of cricket and also that certain person was also in love with cricket so he came out to hang with us and I was like you know what okay fine cool he's gonna come and hang out with us and then mind you all along um, How can I put it? So, so yeah, he came to come and visit. Little did I know that he, he was actually not here for my brother. Me and my brother, we like five years apart. So, he came over and then he came to come and chill with us, me, my brother. Yeah, it's me, my brother, and then him. And then we hanged out and then... um. There was E. I don't know how to put the story, but yeah, he came to come and chill with us now. Okay, let me start over. So, this particular person came to me. I knew which my dad was going to clock out early um, because he used to work at this certain furniture shop. Um, I think it, it's still there, but yeah, he was more working at the warehouse so i know my dad is going to clock out at a certain time and then he would get home around four so little did i know this guy was actually coming to come see me but in his mind he was saying no i came to come chill with my he came to chill with my brother and then we hanged out and then Nina, I was so scared. Um, I took out my diary. I still, I uh, studying young. I used to love journaling. I still do. Um, so he came over and then we, I was like, you know what? In the house, it was, it was those sunny um, days in Joburg. So I was like, you know what? It, I was af it was after school, her huh, story. It was after school, and then he came over, and then, yeah, our yard was still big. So he came over, and then they played a cricket for that hour or two. And then he came over, and then he came and chilled with me. And then he was like, hey, what are you doing? And then I told him, he said, no, I'm just uh, journaling. Um, I used to write in Crescent on my diaries back then. Um, when I write... My handwriting is very small and he came over and then he was like, what are you doing? And then he was, I was like, no, I'm journaling. Why? And then he saw what I write in cursive. So I couldn't, I didn't know how to um, interact with him. I built a wall um, with him and then yeah that's how things unfolded um 
even right now whenever like i see him i always have um feel upset in a way um it wasn't his fault um i was just scared of a lot of things so yeah it and i i never was able to like interact with a lot of people growing up because of the whole thing of Wooty, what will my parents say um hence why i'm also a late bloomer as well um yeah this thing of also just trying to make people happy and you never get to like live your life is also a bit of a pain in the ass um because you're you can't uh, you can't articulate yourself around people because you don't know how to you never got to experience how how to interact with people and hence why there's a lot of us who are introverts who cannot even have a proper conversation with people and people get to experience what kind of person you are so yeah that's my inner child that i need to heal um the child that who never got to experience how to live as a child and i need to heal that baby that baby needs to be healed the joy needs to heal and it's scary um and then i also <laughs> i'm thinking of going to therapy but There's also some couple of other things that has happened to me when I was a kid, which I will not talk about on this red app because I'm afraid of the person also hearing who to what they did to me. Um, I was growing up I just don't want to put it out there so yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that because there's the also another child who's who was hurt when she was growing up in the hands of their Ooh, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah. The things that I went through as a kid, they made me into this person that I am right now. This 30 year old who I am right now. So, yeah. I'm not gonna divulge more on this topic. Um, but yeah, that's some of the traumas things that I went through as a kid that has made me into this person that I am right now have I healed no do I want to heal yes because I need it and just to breathe and just to be free and just forgive um, forgive myself forgive the the younger version of me, um, the child in me, um, yeah, truly forgive myself and let people in, hence why I also have this episodes of insomnia um i'm a night owl i struggle with sleeping my head goes overdrive when you're supposed to be sleeping 
pens while I also have the um, I'm a light sleeper so I can hear everything I would say that I'm sleeping but I can hear everything um, yeah so oh, that was a mouthful so yeah sorry that I'm um, speaking on a somber note um, it's just, yeah, this topic, yada, Q, it has really, like, um, made me think about a lot of things, put things into perspective, um, yeah, it's just, it sucks, man, not, um, push back the hands of time and, try and change the the narrative of your past and all the traumas that you went through um yeah man Whew. guys those who have kids take care of your kids man truly take care of your kids and Don't leave your kids and think you're good to know they're safe. There's some sick people out there. Really sick people. And they just are not right in their heads. Um, Your kids, guys, really, really take care of your kids. Oh, <laughs> guys, I think I'm gonna close it there. Um, I don't want to dwell too much more on this because I'm starting to like choke up a bit. Um, don't want to cry on this. I'm tearing up a bit, but I really don't want to talk more about this. Um, I think also another reason that's why I don't feel like I want to have kids because. <coughs> Sorry. It scares me the thought of having to raise my own kids in this world and I'm just scared sorry <laughs> I'm just scared raising the kids in this generation so much hate in this world guys oh <sighs> oh guys yeah um I'm gonna close it right now because I'm choking up a bit. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, are going through my head about this healing your inner child. Whew. So much hate in this world. The generation that we're living in. Whew. And yeah, um, guys, I think I am gonna close it here. Um, don't
don't forget to like subscribe um, share comment down below um, yeah keep safe and take care of yourself guys from my heart to yours I hope the good God blesses you and your family and your loved ones